Hello again everyone, this is Flink, and I just want to talk to you about what my new favorite card is, uh, especially in the meta that is going on right now. It is Cyprian Wily, a silver card, a 7 strength, deal 3 damage to an opposing non bold unit. Uh, but that damage that's dealt is to its base strength, and why is this card so amazing all of a sudden? Well, uh, just given today's uh, current meta with lots of car, uh, Queen's Guard decks and consume monsters roaming around, as well as the prominence of cards like Roach, um, it is a phenomenal, phenomenal card that in certain cases can stop uh, certain deck archetypes and uh, can be a meta buster just on its own. Things like Queen's Guard, which get resurrected a million times, uh, you want to be able to wipe those off the board and dealing 3 damage to their base strength essentially just takes them out of play completely. So if you're able to, you can go ahead and grab a decoy, play it again, and essentially it's game over for Queen's Guard decks. Same with uh, Consume Monster. If you play it, it does not affect the uh, uh, ability of summoning another Necker from your deck. So what you're doing is you're dropping it on the table, removing 3, and adios, he's gone forever. Uh, if he does go ahead and play another one, you can go ahead and decoy and take him off the table. Hopefully that's it for that, and they're not able to neck a warrior to fill their deck more, but at least in that case, you're well ahead of the game because no consumed monster player is going to keep all three neckers in hand. It just essentially takes away from most of that deck synergy and that deck strategy. Uh, cards like Roach, which often reappear and uh, give extra value, uh, you can wipe him off the board completely, and taking care of a card like King of Beggars, which can get resurrected several times in so many different ways, is so clutch, especially in late game when that can string a train that snowballs the strength in their favor. So I want you to consider this card as a non-faction uh, exclusive silver card. You're going to like it, you're going to start falling in love with it, much like I did, and it's going to be as close to auto-include in certain decks once you hit that meta, where things like Queensguard and Consume are all over the place. So this is Flank, hope that that was a little bit uh, more intuitive for you, and we'll see you around, adios.